Good morning. It is a Monday at like 7.30 a.m. Today is the first day of my summer class. I'm teaching a short session um, this summer, so about four weeks. I'm teaching pre-calculus and it's specifically only for a group of students in a specific program at my school called Thrive where incoming freshmen can get a jump start on their college experience. So they take a, a course, they take a service learning class, and they have like a total of six credit hours um, that they'll start off with for this summer. Um, and so I have 13 students in my pre-calculus class that I will meet today. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting up, getting dressed for the day. I'm going to um, check my email and then uh, pack my lunch and then I'm gonna head out and I'll take you along my day with me. All right, so I'm at school and I stopped by my classroom first. I just want to make sure all the technology works and if it doesn't, I can get the tech people to come um, and fix everything. But this is the classroom I'm in. It's an active learning classroom, so it has some boards um, around for the students to use and work together. All of the desks are like movable and they're in pairs. Um, so what I want to do is, since I'll be using the document camera, especially for the first day, I'm going to turn on the document camera make sure all of that works and then I'll go to my office and start prepping for class all right document camera does work I don't know if you can see the screen basically so when I write the students can see me writing and I can like see my students so my back is never turned to them um, I can like gauge their faces and stuff like that so I check the computer computers working projectors working so classroom is good there's also markers in here so I don't even have to bring my own markers for the students and erasers um, so yeah I'm gonna go to my office create a little um, daily to-do list to get my supplies ready and then get ready to go to class All right, so this is my office. All the things that I printed yesterday and the supplies I just got. So I'm gonna sit down, uh, make a to-do list of everything I need to do today, and then get started. All right, so I made my to-do list for the day, um, and on it, I need to write my notes for class. I know it feels like last minute, but I teach this class all the time. <laughs> um, make a to-do list for the class. So on the board, I like to write, like these are all the things we're gonna do in class today. So they kind of have a gauge of like, what's left to do, what to prepare for as we're going through class. Cause it's like two hours and 15 minutes. It's a long time and there's always a break in the middle. Um, then I'm gonna print my roll and then prep my activity, which I'll tell you about my activity later when I get there. Hello, I am back home. So I just finished my day. It's about one o'clock p.m. Um, and I'm home. I ran out of time before class to like tell you anything. So basically, I usually teach a flip class where students watch their video lectures before class and they do a pre-class assignment. So when I'm prepping for class, I'm just prepping for like a 10 minute recap. I forgot that since I'm not flipping this class, I need to actually prepare a full lecture. <laughs> So writing my lecture notes took way longer than expected. I mean, I have them written and scanned, so worst comes to worst, I could have just like printed out what I've already written. But I like to write my um, notes from scratch every time just so that I'm like refreshed on what I'm talking about and I can like remember to anticipate students' questions. So I made it to class two minutes before class started. <laughs> but it went really well. The students seemed to be excited about class. They participated. Um, they loved the activity that I did. So I don't know if you noticed on my desk, I had colored sheets of paper. And that was for this activity that I do called a crowd crumple, where basically you have students put like if there's multiple steps to a process, each student would put one step and then they would ball the paper up and throw it to someone else. And the next student would do the next step and so for me i use this um, technique or this uh, active learning um, technique 
for my first lesson when they learn the uh, the distance formula, which students always forget. So we talked about how they don't remember the distance formula. So we did this activity where I had them draw a graph and plot a point and label it. And then they balled it up through across the room. They And the next person drew a different point and labeled it. Through across the room, the next person drew a line between them. So the goal is to find the distance between those two points and um, basically I have them end up drawing a right triangle and they can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse which is the distance between the two points. So they really enjoyed the activity. It was nice to kind of like break the ice early on and give them an easy win. But yeah class went well. I don't feel too exhausted but I am hungry so I'm about to have some lunch. And I think I may end the vlog here. Um, but yeah, that was my first day. It went well. Um, I did make the quiz for tomorrow. So in the summer, I teach every day and I actually give a quiz every day. Um, so I made my quiz for tomorrow based on what they learned today. So I'm curious to see how they do. So I'll keep you posted on how this class does this summer and if I change anything up. All right, have a great day. Bye.